Connect the mini USB cable to the mini USB port in the APL. Plug the other end of the USB cable into the USB port on the tablet. Power on the tablet by pressing the green power button. Once the tablet is on, start the APL application by double clicking the APL icon. Once the application is loaded, press the button labeled connect to APL. The tablet will take a moment to connect. When the connection is established, the button will turn green and display the message APL connected. On the APL, select the desired surface type, depth mode, direction, and distance. When the APL reads, take first reading, press the new scan button on the tablet. The tablet will then record data from each slice taken by the APL. The tablet will also indicate which slice number it is recording in the upper right corner of the screen. It is important to make sure this number corresponds to the slice number on the APL display. Continue to take readings with the APL until you are finished with the scan. Pressing the pipe map button on the APL will plot results on the APL screen as well as generate a contour map of the collected data on the tablet. After plotting the data, press the save data button to save the data for later use. By default, the application assigns a timestamp to the mat file. The file name as well as the directory it is saved in can be changed by the user. After the data is saved, the color scale buttons can adjust the lower limit of the color scale. This is useful for filtering out unwanted noise and comparing signal strengths in different areas. The scan direction button can change the direction of the x-axis to correspond with the direction the scan was taken. There are also buttons in the lower right corner of the screen that change the distance interval of the scan. In order to change back to slice numbers, simply deselect the selected distance interval. After any desired adjustments have been made to the plot, push the Save Plot button to save the plot. After a number of scans have been saved to the tablet, they can quickly be compared using the survey view mode of the application. With survey view mode, the user is able to make a three-dimensional model of the survey using the data collected by the APL. This feature of the application does require that the scans be taken from the same reference line in order to properly correlate the slices of each scan. Press the Select Folder button and navigate to the directory containing the APL data collected during the survey. After selecting the proper folder, the list box on the left will be populated with the list of MAT files containing the data collected during the survey. In order to add data to the plot, highlight the MAT file and press the Add to Plot button. As files are added, they will appear in the list box on the right. After all of the desired files have been added, press the Plot Survey button to plot a scan-by-scan -scan representation of the survey. The plot will start off in a view of the XY plane, or scan number versus time plane. Use the arrows in the axis control box to change the view angle.
The entire survey has now been adjusted to one color scale. This color scale can be visualized by selecting the color bar radio button. It is also possible to generate interpolated data in order to help visualize how each scan relates to the next by selecting the scan interpolation radio button and pressing plot survey again. The visibility of individual scans can be toggled on or off by selecting the corresponding file name in the list box on the right. Again, the scan direction and distance can be changed using the appropriate buttons at the bottom of the screen.